Hey everyone and welcome back to Hoffman Engineering. My Anycubic Cobra S1 combo has just arrived. This is Anycubic's first fully enclosed Core XY 3D printer, boasting an extremely fast 600mm per second print speed. Combined with the Anycubic Ace Pro, the Anycubic Cobra S1 can print 4 colors in the same print, or combine 2 Ace Pros together to print up to 8 colors. And the really impressive part is that this S1 combo is on sale for only $649 US dollars at the time of recording. This is the cheapest multicolored Core or XY printer on the market currently. So while I put it through its paces for my full review, I wanted to give a quick first look for those that might be interested. This printer is not sponsored. I purchased this printer myself thanks to the support of my Patreon members and viewers like you. I do have affiliate links below if you'd like to continue to support my channel at no additional cost to you. So starting with the Cobra S1 itself, this is a filament-based 3D printer with a print volume of 250 by 250 by 250 millimeters. Anycubic has taken what it's learned with its multi-materia Cobra 3 3D printer and improved upon it with the S1. The S1 is a core XY motion system in which two stationary motors work together to drive an intricate belt loop which moves the hot end around. This allows for crazy fast print speeds of up to 600 millimeters per second and accelerations of up to 20,000 millimeters per second per second. The 4.3 inch touchscreen display on top folds open and is very easy to use. The menus are nicely laid out and it's very responsive. It has Wi-Fi connection enabling over-the-air firmware updates and sending prints wirelessly from your computer or via Anycubic's cloud service. The S1 runs Cobra OS, which is Anycubic's custom version of the Clipper firmware. It is a modern firmware with lots of advanced features. No need for your old tools like pieces of paper, because the auto bed leveling and auto Z offset means that you'll never have to manually calibrate your nozzle height. The S1 has vibration compensation for input shaping and pressure advanced to prevent ringing, ghosting, or echoes on prints. Their sample files include this 15-minute 3D Benchy, and they weren't pushing this printer anywhere near its limits. It'll be interesting to see how fast a real speedboat could go, because this sample print was tuned for quality. It has extremely consistent layer lines and no drooping on overhangs. But the real magic comes when you combine the S1 with the Anycubic Color Engine, or ACE Pro. This external box holds up to four spools of filaments and enables seamless multicolor printing with the S1. It automatically feeds all four colors to the back of the S1. When it needs to change colors, the S1 moves its hot end to the front where it cuts the current filament. It then retracts the old color and extrudes the next color until the hot end is purged. Once the new color is flowing, the purged filament is pooped out the back of the printer, and printing continues. This is a two-color 3D Benchy that I just finished. The color changes are clean, even when switching between heavily pigmented colors like blue and light colors like yellow. Just like with the Cobra 3, multicolored printing does take a whole lot more time and uses a lot more filament. Using the default profile in the Anycubic Slicer, it estimated that the time spent actually printing this 3D Benchy was 1 hour and 9 minutes, and it would spend an additional 8 hours just switching between colors. And yep, the actual print time was 9 hours and 23 minutes. And look at how much poop there is. For this 10.9 gram 3D Benchy, it produced a whopping 183 grams of wasted filament. That's 17 times more filament used to purge than in the actual print itself. I was curious on how that compared to the Cobra 3. The red and blue Benchy printed on the Cobra 3 produced 118 grams of poop, or 65 grams less waste than the S1. To be fair, the amounts of material purged between colors can be changed, so I'll have to see how I can optimize that a bit. But for those interested in multicolor printing, just be aware that it'll use a lot more filament when switching between colors. And it would be better to fill your entire build plates with models. An entire plate filled with multicolored 3D benches would use the same amount of purge material as this single 3D benchy would. In addition to multiple colors, the Ace Pro can also act as a filament backup. This is an improvement to your normal filament runout detection. The Ace Pro will automatically switch to the next spool of the same material and color when the first spool runs out. It also has RFID detection, so if you use any Cubics filament, it'll automatically detect the filament type and color. Finally, the Ace Pro also acts as a filament dryer with its built-in heater. This will remove moisture from your filaments, which if you've seen any of my past moisture experiment videos, dry filament greatly improves print quality. The Ace Pro that's included with the S1 combo is slightly different to the one included with the Cobra 3 combo. There are some new spool guides on the lids to help keep the spools in place during the longer attractions needed for the S1. I will have to see if there's any other differences though. I am curious to see if the Cobra 3's Ace Pro is compatible with the S1, but that's a test for the full review. It took about 20 minutes to unbox, plug everything in, and start the automatic calibration steps, and then I was up and printing. The manual does a great job of walking you through all the steps needed. I think anyone would be able to get up and running with no issues. 
Click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on my full review coming soon. But I wanted to give this first look for those that might be interested in what the Cobra S1 has to offer. If there's anything specific you want me to test for my full review, or questions that you'd want to answer, let me know in the comments below. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have even more 3D printer poop to deal with. I'll see you all next time.